Hello traders and investors, this is PennyStockRain.com where we will be doing a free video chart of CWRN that is Cotton and Western Mining Incorporated listed on the pink sheets. We're going to start from top to bottom. We're going to start with our relative strength index or RSI, which means we are in the median range. That doesn't mean that we're overbought. See, notice how uh, when you're overbought it retraced a little bit down here. That's something that we go by. Um, had nice volume too. And it has come back... Uh, quite nicely and the price per share has held up very well now we're going to look at our support and resistance levels this is one of our resistance levels right here right at the uh, 0 0.032 range that is one of our key resistance levels something that we want to watch something that we want to break also we have uh, this too as one of our support le uh, levels right here we did Break below the 20-day moving average right here, so we want to be cautious. We want to um, see if that, you know, can go back above that. For a little while, it was steadily above that particular one, but even a fuel car, I mean, even a race car has to stop or slow down for fuel, so that's understandable. And plus, moving averages are a lagging indicator. Um, overall, for the past couple months, this has been holding up very well, creating a high base. The longer the base, the better the case, the longer the move. And that move can be up or down, so we're going to have to watch this very closely. Um, like I said, 26% uh, percent up, a little bit more than that today. That is a great grant gain. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, we also want to look at this particular support level. I know the 50-day. A lot of people say the 50-day, but we just talked about the moving average uh, being a lagging indicator. So we want to watch this particular uh, support level as well. And as I said, we're going to scroll down a little bit. Let me get my little yellow dot here. Now this is uh, what really interests me about the chart is we're seeing volume come in. After a long period of time with no volume, we're starting to see it come. Volume is often followed by price action. So we're starting to see a little bit of volume come back into the stock. And as you can see right here, some of our biggest moves um, were made on volume. So that's something that we definitely want to watch. Our histogram in our moving average convergence divergence is slowly ticking up. We want to see more of a, a pickup on this. We actually want to see it go back to zero, this range, and it just might. Um, but we want to be careful. We want to watch our other indicators, such as you know our support levels and our resistance levels. Again, I am PennyStockRain.com, reminding you to sign up today. We are not financial advisors, so please do your own research and due diligence. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.